Okay, so where we are is on one of the roads to the town of Salyansk. Salyansk appears to be the focal point of what the Ukrainian government is calling this anti-terror operation. It is a town where pro-Russian militants and protesters have really consolidated their control in recent days, more so than other towns around here. Late yesterday, we saw the Ukrainian military move in very closely to this town, taking back a nearby airfield. Where I'm standing now, there is a very heavily armed, well-dug-in uh, police checkpoint. They're checking all the vehicles moving through here. The contents of the cars and just around the corner what appears to be another Ukrainian military staging point. A large number of Ukrainian soldiers, armoured personnel carriers and we're seeing military helicopters and coming and going from this location including uh, attack helicopters. The question now really is what is the intention of the Ukrainian military? Are they planning, thinking about moving in and trying to take back this town by force because all the noise coming from within the town is that these pro-Russian forces are prepared to fight back and in a sign of just how complicated all of this is. We're now seeing images from within Selyansk which show armoured vehicles advancing forward under a Russian flag. How is this possible? Well, according to Ukrainian media, pro-Russian forces have taken control of these vehicles. According to Russian media, the Ukrainian officers and soldiers who were driving these vehicles have effectively flipped sw sides over to the pro-Russian side. So all very fast moving, very murky, very complex as we wait to see precisely what the next stage will be uh, in this military operation uh, against these pro-Russian forces.